Welcome to another ludic episode with me, Nifty Rat. I'm here, as you can see, in the council chamber of the temple, contemplating the recent events, and planning both the next stage of my building here and maybe what needs to be done in response. Now, you might be wondering how such a mild-mannered person as Nifty Rat could be upset by anything that occurs on the SMP server. Well, let me tell you. It's not acceptable. I did a lot of work on that post office, and it's gone unnoticed. I recently was relaxing in my chamber, just chilling, taking a break from working on the temple. For all, it's been a very long build. And I saw that Magister's done a video showcasing all the work he'd done on the post office and a lot of good work he'd done. If you want to see this absolutely outrageous video, there's a link in the corner above. But during this video, he makes no mention of all the effort I did to clear the space around the portal and re-landscape the area. It's like previously, I made the railroad and it took ages. I took all that tunnel, laid all those tracks. Nothing. No one respects your work. Well, we need to give some thought what we do about it. Because it's so frustrating. It's completely unacceptable. This behaviour cannot continue. But talking of the temple build, this is the first of our furnished rooms. No, I won't say finished, because there's lots to be done still. Lots to be done. But it's getting, it's getting there. We've got our ceiling in. We've got our windows. So I can look out of them during council meetings. And when they start blathering on, it just goes over your ears. We've got, look, we've got glass in and everything. And here we've got our council chamber with our table. Now, what we don't have is any really good councillors. But maybe we need to give some thought to that. You can see we've gone, kept our deep, deep slate. No, it's not deep slate. Obsessed with deep slate. So we've got a blackstone construction still. We've got grass. We've got this lovely mangrove. Lovely colour. That's our lintels above our main windows. And the same thing for the table. If we go down our stairs, you'll see we're actually above the guardian, the guardian farm. It's currently running. Because I need to repair some of my tools. But listen. No noise. No noise at all. If you come down here, you get closer. We've got our redesigned entrance. Get closer and closer to it. Should hear, yes. The horrendous noise that is the Guardian farm. And we can mend our magical tools just here. And we've got storage down here. And yeah, temporary storage all over the shop. So for the basement level, it is a deep slate brick construction. You'd see lanterns light the way up. Then here we come up, we've got our lovely patterned floor. We've got our candles in our holders, our stairs up. And we've tried to leave plenty of room around the farm. Does mean we have quite a large 
room. But I didn't want to interfere in any way, shape or form with the workings of the farm. Having had all that work done by Carol, I didn't want to risk breaking it. Because we all know she'll charge to come out and fix it. And the bill's going to be getting quite large soon. If we step outside our door and go to the front of our temple, you can see we've been kind of busy. That's what we might do. Let's fly! Ow! I wonder how I'll learn to land. Hmm. That like Carol pushed me off even though I don't think she's actually on the server at the moment. Such a thing she does. But we've held back the water. You can see we've held it back with the glass around. And then we've just got a water cascading flow. So I think it looks very pretty. Very relaxing. And there you can see the outside of the council chamber. Which we've used the mangrove. I love the mangrove effect. With our dark prismarine. So you can see here for our bell towers, we've actually used man actually mangrove fence posts with the dark prismarine to create the bell towers of our central area here. So, the, so this building on the right contains the Guardian Farm and our council chamber. We haven't started work on the interior yet of the left hand one. So we've got the floors in. We need to do the roof and we need to put the intermediate floors in. This is where our administrative hub is going to be. So we're going to have some, some tables, chairs, things like that for people to work on as well as some living quarters at the top. There's going to be our sort of main dining hall. So we have dining hall, beds, and then workspaces. That's our plan. If we walk through, walk on through, you'll see you come across these little areas. These are going to be our contemplation areas. And we have little tables set up in here for people to come and study at individually. This is what would be our main entrance. So we've got all the detailing to do on the outside. You have a quick shower while you're here. Go back through the door. We've got our bell towers. Gonna not, we're not going to do anything with these apart from probably put some lights in. And here you can see temporary staging area, got floor. This is going to be our main library area. So we're going to have some books and things on the walls. Here's our portal to home. We're going to have, obviously, you to get, get home. That's the build. We've pretty much completed the main structure of the build now. We've just got a lot of detailing to do. Obviously, we've got floors to put in. Still got to put in various areas. But I think it's look. I think it's starting to come together nicely. So certainly having once the windows are in, and we've got the lintels in above the windows in the the second or the tower as well. It'll certainly it'll it'll break up some of the darkness. And obviously we've got the detailing to do on these towers where we're going to have our little our altars and stuff. So that all needs to be fixed up. I think it's time to go and visit the scene of the crime. So here we are back at the scene of the crime. And I must say it does look really nice. 
Magister Cow done a really good job of the work. Now I know this contraption is one of Magister's. No post. Maybe Carol likes some apples. How do I get out of here? This way. Oh, oh so complicated. Fly up to the top. Should see. Look. Carol's got a post. How do you know? If you land on the roof, you can see if you've got a post. Still no post. Yeah, all that work I did clearing this area out, if you remember, that portal had, would have, portals in the middle, so about there. There was stuff up to here. All this. No, I didn't leave it like this. Mm, somebody dug the hole out and didn't fill it back in. Just random to. Mm. I think we'll have to be back. It might be nice to continue on and do a proper path. Honestly, I think I need to send some of our people off to watch my better paths video. What do they call this? It's so embarrassing. We've been busy working on something else. Now look at all this. This we cleared all this area out. And we built ourselves. Carol, Carol loves this scaffold. She's like, oh, I'll put scaffold in it. The totems that Carol's been working on providing. We agreed. Someone's been buying. That means Carol needs to restock. I don't do the restocking. That's Carol's job. Yes, Carol's. I helped. I was probably more used on that than I was on, on that. I just cleared the air for that. But yeah, we built a raid farm. Cow did most of the hard work. I just stood there and offered sensible advice and fetched villagers. But we thought in honour of that, that we'd build a little replica of a raid tower. Scaled down version, if you like. Where people can come and get their totems. Their little protections of the Dark Lord. And we agreed with Carol that we'd split the profits. Same way we do for all our other shops, which we haven't checked for ages. Uh, diamonds. Mm. Do people, but they're not even stocked, honestly. How much TNT being sold? Not sure if that's a bad thing or a good thing. <laughs> what a handsome fellow. We need to get some diamonds back. Our friend, you know, the one who forgets about us when it's convenient. He charged the earth for Blackstone. And I did see in his video he'd restock the store. Thinks I'm going to come and buy some more. I think luckily I don't need to for this week. I think I'm okay. Meanwhile, anybody bought anything in here? I only bought something the other day. It was quite distressing. <laughs> Just some restocking. No. Big spider eyes. One diamond for two stacks. Absolute bargain. 
Nobody wants any good sticks. Wow. I got. I'm hoping that the raid shop will do some business. Need to get my money back. All that money I gave to Magister. And I'm still waiting on Carol's bill. That's not going to be pleasant. I don't have a lot of money. Temple's very expensive. I need to buy more materials. I think we need to, at some point, probably have a conversation with Magister. Just to remind him that I'm not easily forgotten. Not at all. I'm sure it maybe wasn't intentional. Or maybe it was. We shall see. So we've been busy building the raid farm with Carol. We've been working on the temple. We've done our little shop over there. We've cleared space for the post office. It's been a busy few weeks. But we need to get work done elsewhere. I have all that lovely nether tunnel that I've done nothing with. I've still got the rest of the temple to do. And I've got to finish home. We barely started on home. All things to come for the future. But for now, say cheerio. Bye.